Uh, hi students, uh, so today let us start our class on compiler design lecture 1 conducted by Oresopt. So since this is the first lecture, I would like to start with the notion of what is a compiler and why we need a compiler. Okay, so to discuss this thing, uh, let us try to write a small C program okay in a software called Seguin I want to write a small C program so here is my C program if you can see just let me know so so you can see here my test.c contains this following code so I have two variables a and b and a contains the initial value 2 b contains the initial value 3 and my program just adding the two variables and storing it in another variable called c and printing the value so it is a very small program now this c program is called as what we call as a high level just a second what we call as language like C or it can be Java it can be C++ so they are called as high level language why it is called as high level language because it is written in terms of in a more abstract manner and we can put directly our thoughts into <coughs> a program in terms of these languages okay so that is why they are called high level language but a normal computer cannot understand this high level language okay so what a computer understands so the next question is what a computer understands is what we call as a machine code or a machine level language so what a computer understands is called as machine code Okay, now the computer or a processor only understands zeros and ones if if I am not wrong. Okay, since everything is digital in this digital world, a, comp a digital computer only understands language in terms of zeros and ones. So, and it is it is it is totally impossible to write your thoughts in terms of zeros and ones. Okay, you cannot write that small c program that adds two variables a and b and store it in another variable c in, in terms of zeros and ones. So there is another intermediate language which is just one level up the machine code and that, that is called as assembly language program. This is called assembly level language. Assembly level language okay now what this assembly assembly level language is so every computer has a processor and a processor you must be taught in your computer architecture class that a processor operates on a specific set of instructions and those set of instructions is called instruction set architecture okay of the processor now any program that is written in terms of those specific set of instruction is called as assembly level program okay and believe me writing this small c program in terms of assembly level language is also difficult okay so so just to give you an give you a flavor that how this assembly level language for this small c program looks like we'll use a compiler called GCC so so GCC is a tool or a compiler that okay so so this compiler has created an assembly program for me and let us look at this thing test.s okay so you can see here for a small C program that adds two variables the corresponding assembly level program 
is looks like this okay and also so 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 it is not catering any means it is not helping a end user because as a programmer who wants to put his thought into a program it is very difficult to write in terms of assembly language also okay so what is a compiler then so i have already shown you what gcc is doing so what is a compiler then so a compiler is nothing but another program or a software so i can say compiler which is nothing but a software or program whose input is what whose his input is a high level program program and what is the output so the output can be an assembly can be an assembly level program or it can directly or it can directly give me what we call as a machine code and which when fed to a computer will will be executed and will give you the result okay so so in the in this entire course of compiler design we will be learning how to create and design this intermediate software called or a program code or how to write a program to that will behave as a compiler okay now now if i have an assembly level program and i want to, to generate a machine code this intermediate block is also a specific kind of compiler and it has a name called assembler okay so what is an assembler so assembler is another kind of compiler that takes an input any assembly level program and generate the machine code or object code machine code understood so as a quick quiz i'll ask you uh, what is the advantages advantages of my high level language what are the advantages of so then then oh, why so there are still people there are, uh, so can you tell me uh, which program will be faster whether it will be high level program or it will be assembly level program or it will be machine code so the answer is so here is my computer okay so any pro, so a machine code is closest to a computer so if i can write a program in the machine code that will be fastest okay similarly the next one is the assembly level language okay so any program written in terms of assembly level language will be faster will be slower than the machine code but it will be faster than a high level program okay and a high level program but but the easiness so so the easiness is moving in this direction this is the easiest to write and this is the toughest to write but the fastness is moving in this direction this is the fastest and this is somewhat slower but with this recent development in the compiler technology we are using many we are means uh, research groups are continuously working on how to how to build a better compiler that will be as fast as the machine level program okay okay thanks